Hey friends, this is Renz, and I'm so excited to be able to say this. Thank you for 1,000 subscribers. We honestly did this together, and I'm so grateful for you. We did that, y'all. We did that. This has been an incredible journey, but it did not come without its hardships. So in this video, I'm going to be doing two things. First, I'm going to share with you three of the most important lessons I've learned so far on this YouTube journey. And then I'm going to share what you can expect from my channel moving forward. So the first thing I learned right away is that you have to know how to quickly adapt to failure. You have to be okay with working on one video for so many hours only for it to get barely any views or likes. I know this because this happened a lot in my journey. And that's totally fine. And just to be clear, I'm not here begging for likes. In fact, if you know me, you know that that's not who I am. Because at the end of the day, it's not your responsibility to like my video. No one is obligated to like a video that you put out there. It's on me, the creator, to make sure that I'm providing quality content for you. That's all part of being a content creator. That just comes with the territory. I honestly can't tell you how many videos... <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've worked so many hours on videos, and I'm talking about pulling all-nighters, sacrificing my mental and physical health, and in some cases, rare cases, missing work because I was editing a video the night before. I do all that just to make sure that I can provide the best content as possible for you. And that's why it means so much to me that some of you commented how much you love the editing. Trust me, filming the videos, that's the easy part, but the editing can literally take days. That's why I usually only post once a week because that whole week I literally need for all the editing. It takes a lot of work for sure, but I love the process and I've actually come to love editing. So that's why I'm, I'll, I'll be crazy again and again and just have no sleep. <laughs> I would do it again and again because I love the editing process and I love being able to create for you. It is important to take care of your mental and physical health. In fact, I'll even be open and admit that I'm still working on that. In this journey, your physical and mental limits will be tested. You're gonna know what works and what doesn't work for you. And in a similar manner, you're gonna know who supports you and who doesn't support you. Which leads me to the second lesson I learned. Sometimes strangers or acquaintances online are more supportive than people you've known for years. Yeah, this one's pretty big. And it's honestly one of the hardest pills to swallow. In fact, I'll even admit that for the longest time, I didn't wanna accept that this was true but it is. And so I'm so grateful for you, especially if you communicated with me through Instagram, Discord, Twitter, TikTok, basically any of my socials outside of YouTube, you know, I see you and I appreciate you. I've had some incredible discussions and just amazing connections because that's something that I value at the end of the day. You know, you and me, that connection, that's beautiful. And I want you to know that as I keep growing and I keep growing this channel, I'm gonna remember you. You've been there when I had literally no views or any subscribers and I had no engagement. You know, I'm gonna remember all of that. You know who you are. Thank you, seriously. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that every single person who's close to me has never supported me. That's obviously not true. In fact, two of my closest supporters have to be my audio editors, my cousin Silverance and my good friend Zach Shreves. Let me just tell you the level of sacrifices that they've made for me. On multiple occasions, these gentlemen have literally stayed up till three or four in the morning just to make sure that the sound quality is as good as possible. And I know for a fact, I would not have hit this milestone if it weren't for the kindness and generosity of these two gentlemen. So Silverance and Zach, thank you so much for your talents and your support and your sacrifices. I could not have done this without you. Thank you. Your support is overwhelming and it just goes to show that you never know who's watching your videos. And there's a very specific reason why I chose to leave the best lesson for last. 2022 definitely came with its challenges, but it also came with a lot of blessings. One of those blessings was that this was the first year I learned that my grandpa all the way from the Philippines would watch my videos. I guess we just never talked about it, but it was such a nice surprise because I didn't know that he would watch all the way from the Philippines. That meant a lot to me. And as someone who believes in things happening for a reason, I'm about to share with you why that meant so much to me. It was actually the first and last year that I finally found out that he was watching my videos. A few weeks ago, my grandpa passed away at the age of 95 and it was, it, it was devastating. Now, I assure you, I'm doing okay. I've had time to process things. I've had time to mourn and pretty much do everything I needed to do. But remember, I said that things happen for a reason. As sad as it was to say goodbye to him, his passing was unexpectedly a blessing in disguise. Let me explain. I was considering quitting, quitting posting on YouTube and just quitting this channel in general. I was feeling mentally and physically drained and I felt like my channel wasn't really going anywhere. But actually, the exact opposite happened. <laughs> Through this YouTube journey, I learned what I can and can't handle, so I know how to better take care of my mental and physical health. And I don't think it's any coincidence that my grandpa happened to pass away just before I hit a thousand subscribers. Every time I press upload, trust me, I love getting likes, comments, it's great getting engagement, but more than anything, I've come to realize that 
It's the impacts that you have on people. That includes myself. Like I never would have known how much I love editing if it weren't for this YouTube journey. I never would have met so many new amazing friends if it weren't for this incredible online experience. And it's allowed me to feel closer to the people who've watched my videos, even my grandpa watching from above. I don't expect you to understand this, but I almost feel like as I continue running this channel, I feel almost closer to my grandpa. I get to think of how much my grandpa would enjoy it, and I get to think of how much you guys are gonna enjoy it. And I have fun making the videos too. All right, I know I just threw a lot on you. Are you good? I'm checking in on you. I talked about mental health, so. Are you good? Are you okay? We're fine, we're fine, everybody, take a breather. If you're still here, thank you so much. I know I just dropped a lot on you, but now we can get to the fun stuff. Over this past year, I've gotten a much better idea of what videos you wanna see. So what can you expect from my channel moving forward? Well, based on my analytics, you're gonna see a lot more product reviews and reactions. These are pretty much the best performing videos on my channel. Like literally that PJ Pug -a Pillar video? Yeah, it's still getting views. And beyond that, I'm still gonna be playing horror games, but I wanna know what you want me to play, so please don't hesitate to drop a comment and let me know. I also wanna do more collaborative stuff, like that video I did with gift card, that was a lot of fun. And lastly, I wanna try something new. It may or may not work, but we'll see. Sometimes I have performances or I go to street dance events. By the way, in case you didn't know, I've been dancing for 11 years. So I might try some vlog videos just for fun. I, I, I've never done that. You might see some vlogs, maybe some fun challenges, just basically lifestyle things so you can get a glimpse of my personal life. It'll either go really well or I'll just stop posting. <laughs> I'm just open to trying more new things now that I've completed this milestone. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you're feeling extra generous, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this. I appreciate you. Never forget how much you're loved. And stay awesome.